Welcome guys to the Elite Classic 2nd Edition. This is the best of 7 between Beastie playing as the Byzantines in the color yellow against his opponent Papi Pao playing as the Abbasid Dynasty in the color red. Welcome everybody to another Age of Empires 4 match. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Small channel, but plenty of content coming. Let's get into this match. Now, uh, Abbasid, obviously very strong. Uh, like later, the, the idea with Abbasid is like, do you need to survive at the beginning? And, you know, Byzantines take quite a few time to to catch up with the military, as you say, power. And uh, so le let's see if Beastie, uh, probably this is a match where Beastie will will want to put some pressure into his opponent very early on. Just because you don't want the Abbasid to boom and, you know, to just get their second town center, get their golden age, get all those things. And it's just really hard. To attack them from when they are at that point so I guess Beastie will, will just play really aggressively in this match uh, but we, we will see uh, we, we will see let's take a look at the uh, number of sheep that doesn't look very well for Beastie let's take a look at the puppy paw this looks uh, slightly better actually much better okay okay improving improving Also improving here. Now, uh, Byzantines also very well known for for going Castle Age really fast. So I, I don't know if Beastie will want to go like Castle Age like that fast with the Byzantines. Like you get the Golden Horn Tower and everything, but a lot of their power comes from the olive olive oil and. He already chose the Lammer, it's gonna be the Grand Winery. It's not gonna be going for the Hypodrome. So, no early horseman harassment here for B for BC. It's just gonna be getting those Olive Oil, getting those Mercenaries, probably push with the Mercenaries and go Castle Age at the same time. And, you know, a, a very strong combo that comes from the Byzantines also that we have seen very uh, in the last matchups. It's the combo of Limitani and Javelin Throwers. They're just so good because the Limitani are just really good at tanking damage from archers from if they, when they activate their skill. They're also very good against cavalry. And, you know, the Javelin Thrower will just, will just do very good against pretty much any unit except the horseman but probably it's a combo that we will see today Papi Pao already going for the stone not even waiting for that ASAP gonna be the military wing for now gonna be securing that second town center like this is, I don't think we're gonna see like economic wings uh, in these tournaments just because it's very risky when you go to the to the economic wing how are you going to stop your opponent for actually, you know, preventing you to put a second down center? Now, you can really check what, like, your opponent is doing. Now, I, I'm, I'm sure Papi Pao already check. Oh, look at that. A couple of sheep more. I'm sure Papi Pao already check. Um, the grind winery basically... Uh, basically says, like, I'm not going with horsemen directly into your face. So, you could have gone for economic wing in, in this case, I believe. But we're already seeing Papi Pao being the aggressor this time. Going for a couple of archers there and a couple of Spearman that you get for free. BT sitting in level 1 system for the moment, gathering that olive oil to get sooner or later, get those mercenaries up and running. It looks like Papi Pao will arrive to his base sooner than what he expected. And now have a couple of archers here for Beastie, so he's ready to defend actually. He's, he's ready to defend. 
and put like a, one more archer and you're good to go. That that's that's all you need. Like three archers. That will do the job. And I think he won't create more. Like that's three archers can easily win this fight. Easily. Wheelbarrow already coming for PC. No wheelbarrow for Puppy Puff. But second town center already there. Next to the berries and the gold. So it's a it's a very nice town center. Gonna be actually getting the deer as well. And <laughs> Beastie pushing the deer away. It's like you wanna push the deer to your town center? Good luck, mate. Gonna push it away. <laughs> actually the deer don't know where to go. Like uh, BC is pushing them away and Puppy Pie is pushing them close to the sound center and and it's just that uh, the deer just don't know where to go just stay in the same place and town center is finished for Puppy Pie mercenary house going out for Beastie let's see which unit which contract he will choose are we gonna see the classic limitane Javelin Thrower combo. Or are we gonna see some Keshix? I don't know. Keshix is usually not the not the favorite unit to get from the mercenary houses. I'm not exactly sure why. But uh, they're not the favorite ones. Golden Age tier 1 activated. I mean that villagers just will gather more resources now, 15%. Which is huge, actually. That's like having like 15% more villagers, which is like having at the moment like three extra villagers. Probably you can think of think of it that way. Javelin throwers. Is it? So it's gonna be that javelin thrower combo with the limitane. It's actually a very very strong combo. We have seen it several times in multiple matchups. Not only Beastie using it, but many other. Players like to use that Limitane and the Javelin Thrower combo, which is very, very powerful. Horseman also there for Papi Pao, but BC already have the answer for it. It has the answer for pretty much everything. It has Limitane and Javelin Thrower is a really, really solid combo. Horseman will try to go for a raid in the back. Looks like they will just say hi here. Sister level 2 are already there. No, they, they don't have Golden Age, but they do have extra uh, gathering resources. Like plus 14 at the moment. At level 2 Sister. Oh, it looks like BC will go for those berries in the back, so... I was gonna spot that out, but there's plenty of military units for BC. I'm just researching wheelbarrow, getting double products, getting all those upgrades. Probably focusing on the military now at the moment. Only nine military units. And I'm not sure if he's... He, he looks like he doesn't want to go castle yet. He will play in the Fiddle Age a little bit. And looks like Beastie in the wrong time. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Only will manage to take down the scout, uh, which is huge for, for BC. Without the scout, you don't have vision, and without vision, you don't have intel. I probably will see another scout coming from Papi Pao in this table. Plus one range armor coming for BC. Limit any numbers are increasing. Little by little, already 10. 8 javelin throwers, very very solid army value. I mean, we don't see the army value here because it's bugged. Uh, usually they usually see the army value of the mercenary units too. But we won't be able to see it this time. You just can't, you just can't imagine how much it is. Looks like Beastie. We'll get pushed away from the gold for the moment. Handful of Limitane will try to deal with those archers. It's funny how the the Limitane are the only spearmen that they don't really are afraid of archers. Just, just very, very, very cool stuff. Very cool unit. 
And looks like the wall won't be completed for BC. Uh, very bad timing for him. Very bad timing. Uh, horseman arrived just on time. Looks like they didn't see it. Looks like they, they didn't see it. Never mind. Now they saw it. Now it looks like these villagers will go down. And which is huge because not only that, your opponent is on two town centers. And you're basically playing the defense here instead of being the the one who is attacking. And you need to attack because this this town center is just gonna make things worse in the future. But you're kind of forced to, to defend at the moment. I, I feel like Beastie wanted these walls just to be a little bit more safe. I put a, a wall here. Now you have the town center here. And that's the only entry point. So it's like it's going to be having a bad time. But now four archers actually are going to get the villagers on the berries. He managed to see them on time. No textiles yet for Beastie. It looks like it's time for Beastie to actually make a push here. Plus one range armor coming for Papi Pa at the moment. Which is... It's very nice. Very, very nice. Looks like Beastie will go for the berries here. And at this point, you can think about putting a ram here. And, you know, start pushing that town center we have plenty of spearmen here a bit losing three villagers in this in this matchup now the kerosifon is being built limitane is tanking that damage just keep pushing More javelin throwers are coming. This is not the entire army of Beastie. He has way more. Now remember, with the cistern level, the, their production speed is actually really fast. They get this limited every 12 seconds. This uh, it's kind of good. Like this tower will get burned here. And numbers for Papi Pao are just really increasing there. And BC don't have... I, I think he, he does have all his units. He just needs to deal with this annoyance here. The wall got completed, but these units managed to get through here, probably. Javelin throwers is you know, alive for another. Kill my villagers, I kill yours. And BC already on the lead with villager, villager kills, but not on the villager count. It's like Papi Pao will realize I'm gonna chop wood on the other side of the wall. Like Horseman will go for a raid here. It's like Limitane actually figure out farm transition is starting to go out for BC javelin throwers trying to deal some damage they are very tanky when it comes to taking arrow damage they have a lot of range armor they do have a lot but they're very tanky. They can deep dive into uh, into the town center. I know they don't look like, but they, they are a really good unit. I know that Kirosifarn is already here. Is he gonna ram? Probably he's just gonna ram the production buildings, right? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna ram the the House of Wisdom. Although at this point, it may look like a good idea. I mean, you do have the advantage of military. And Papi Pao is on the villager count. If he doesn't cause any significant damage. And then never mind. H, new age begins. The culture wing for Papi Pao, which will make things a little bit harder for BC. Now, the good thing is, Javelin Throwers do really good against Mana Arms. 
And Limitane do good against Knights, so... I mean, the Javelin Taurus don't do bad against Manatans. Like, they, they're they not that... Uh, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. Looks like another villager raid here. I should take down a bunch of villagers. They have techs also. It could have been worse. 11 villager kills for Beastie. And despite his best efforts to take down his villagers, five people are still 20 villagers ahead. Uh, this is gonna change because the Golden Horde Tower is being built here. And this may not be villagers, but this Lamar produces military automatically. And this can count pretty much as passive income. It's all about the passive income, guys. All about the passive income. Horseman will go for another raid here. Now archers. Getting better and see. Plus two range armor also for the archers. Gonna build a tower here just to be safe. Gathering those berries. Still have plenty of food in the map. And the castle age gets rich. See which unit probably. More javelin throwers. There you go. And now villagers on the run here. It's like the villagers are alive, not exiles yet. Wolf doing wolf things. Now better than Limitane. And better than Contract going for BC now. Also, Barangian Guards are on the mix. Definitely need those against those Gulams. Looks like this, these villagers were eating meat. They're not allowed to eat meat here. Gonna, gonna push back for a while. I guess uh, surrounded here by those Gulams and those archers. Now, the Javelin Throwers are. They do really good damage, but they're really slow. Like, that, like they are like really slow. And now, the Horsemen are coming. These are not even better than Horsemen. But there is no Limitane coming from BC at the moment. BC running. Still needs that food source here. He needs that deer. He needs this deer. And he still has the boar here. So still have plenty of food, he just needs to have more map control and he lost a lot of military units. And Abbasid just having more and more production buildings. It's like this outpost is gonna go down for the moment. And these javelin throwers will land into the opponent's hands. like he didn't notice and he managed to stay alive for the moment. Magonel being built here. A couple of outlaws here. Is he trying to get that relic? Talking about relics. Papi pa with one relic at the moment. Already getting those knights out. Right about getting the relic that Beastie was supposed to get. And the second relic going home for him. And now Beastie. Try to defend now. There is 60 military units. They are more here. So it means BC doesn't have ac too much access to food. He still has to have some olive groves, but they're not exactly the best. Magonel goes down. And looks like the Golden Horn Tower will stay alive for a while. A villager needs to come here. At the same time, Horseman Raid happening again. A villager has to come here, otherwise his 
He's gonna lose the Golden Horn Tower. More units coming into Beastie's base. And at this point, Papipa has 84 villagers. Two sacred sites. And he will just pump units. Pump units non-stop. Crossbow, archers, gulams. And Beastie taps out. GG gets called best of seven. Papipa is the winner and he will go to the grand final of EGC TV. Meanwhile, Beastie will have to fight for the third place.